Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. Um, going through some boxes in my garage and I found some stuff. Old stuff. Uh, <clears throat> all I'm going to show you is uh, about Cape products. So, this is like a um, semi machete Bowie. I don't know what this is, but it's, um, it says made in Pakistan stainless. That's all it says. It has like a sawback type of deal. It has a recurve, like a cookery type of deal also. And it has this finger, funky finger guard. Um, it, it is full tank, so that's one good thing about it. And I actually chopped some stuff with it, so it works pretty decently. It doesn't retain the edge very well, but you know, better than nothing. So that's one. I also found this one. It's called the Redneck Toothpick. Um, for 40 stainless, made in China. Um, and it's like a Bowie. I don't know, survival knife, I don't know. Uh, but this one, I don't know if it's full tang or not. You know, it was pretty inexpensive. Um, and the other one, this one, a friend from work gave it to me. That thing is called the Mountain Man. It's made in Pakistan. It doesn't have a very good finish on it. It has a pretty good point on it. And it's pretty... Well, it got it pretty sharp. Um, has finger guard, and I don't know. It might be full tang, or it might be partially, you know, half tang. I don't know. But this is another one that I, I got. The sheets on these things are very, very, very cheap, very poorly made. But you know, the prices are very low. So this is another one. This is a called I don't remember vampire or something. And this is a freaky blade. And this one's made by United and it's made in Taiwan. Um, design 2000, so it says. Um, I don't know what steel they use on it, um, but I like the shape of the blade and actually the, um, the actual skull with horns. And I guess you, you'll grab something like this, and this is for. I guess punching um, so it's a pretty cool design on this plate that's why I got it um, so this is my butt case stuff and uh, that I purchased you know they're beater knives you know they're nothing special um, but yeah, I don't really take much care of them um, I found them in the garage so I have forgotten about them um, but you know, if you're in the market for getting a cheap blade to beat up on, I guess, you know, you can just be messing around the yard or something. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can go to Bud K and get a lot of cheap knives there and uh, experiment with them. Well, hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys later.